All right. So we we all have stories to tell. And uh, this one, this one's fucking great. Uh, this is one of my like favorite favorite things I've probably ever done in my life. Should I have done it? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I decided to be. I'm, I mean, I'm an asshole to most people, but you know, I decide I like to prank people and like really fuck with them, and I'm good at it. The story starts off right. It's just another day working with the average Joe and Joette and uh, Gillette. Don't forget Gillette. Uh, you know. And uh, just it's just a casual day, and then all of a sudden, imagine pranking the newbies at work, okay? And you know, that's what I fucking did. <laughs> well, I was passing a few managers at like some point, you know, on a random day, and they were talking about this prank. I forgot to turn off my phone. That's how good I am at this shit. But anyway, so uh, I was passing, you know, a few managers at my work just randomly, and they were talking about like these old pranks people used to pull back in the day. Uh, sort of like this unwritten guide of the old school days for for my work. Um, and it just fucking hit me. I'm like, I could pull this shit off, okay? I know I could. It's super simple. Um, and if you guys are wondering, can I do this? The answer is yes, okay? You can definitely do this. This is one of the easiest pranks ever. I would just recommend being careful because you don't want to do it to the wrong person or have the wrong people around. I waited until I had the perfect opportunity to act on my plan, you know, as anyone does. And uh, what do you know? That chance came quickly. It started when Vance got hired, which uh, you, you probably know Vance from the Modern Warfare videos. All right, so, uh, you know, it's 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 Vance that's receiving the, uh, the prank here, all right? He's going to be called the Fountain Filling Dressing Shaker. That's a fantastic name. But, you know, it. this all started at, like, some point in the first year of my job. Earlier on in the first year of my job. I, I, well, I want to say around, like, seven, eight months since I had been hired. Vance, as you know, he was in the Modern Warfare videos. He used to work with me. But if you've ever worked a job, especially retail, I don't know what it's like in other jobs because I've only worked retail. You know, it's very uncomfortable and awkward when you get hired. Like, there's a lot of people. It's a totally different environment, and it's very, like, it's just, it's just a weird feeling. Um... But, you know, he, he didn't really know anyone but me, so of course he's going to ask me questions or, you know, want to talk to me. Um, but so that means I can abuse his trust, okay? I, fl fl I flip that shit on him. Uh, it sounds kind of fucked up, but oh well. <laughs> so Vance was the perfect target for this fucking prank, all right? This epic, all right, epic. Don't forget that it's epic, okay? You got to throw that in there for the clickbait. Um, it, it's kind of like stealing candy from a baby, but they get recorded you know, and then they're old enough to understand what just happened to them, and they're like, fuck, I just got bamboozled, so they realize that they received the limp dick, like, you just practically shit on this kid, I'm pretty sure Vance was closing, at least I, I'm pretty sure it was closing, that's probably when I would have done the prank, and, you know, this is the perfect time, because there's not very many people in the store, it's very quiet, you know, you could kind of just, like, go do your own thing, and you don't really have to worry about anyone, like, wondering, hey, what are you doing? So, you know, I, I go up to Vance casually, and I'm like, hey, uh, I'm going to show you one of the closing chores that you got to do. It, it's something that courtesy clerks do, which is what we were at the time. And I'm like, I basically just told him, hey, I'm going to show you how to fill the water fountain. It's a chore you have to do at night. And you may be thinking, how do you fill a water fountain? And, you know, that's it right there. You don't. You don't fucking fill a water fountain. But, you know, he's not going to realize that. All right, so uh, Vance is filling up the water fountain. Uh, yeah, he's filling up the water right now. He didn't even think twice about it since he figured that it was actually just me showing him his, the, you know, this chore. He didn't think, you know. And uh, little did he know, I was about to make him into, like, a living meme. And I actually recorded some of this. I was able to trick him into thinking that it was for the, um, the Facebook, the uh, work Facebook page. Um, so I was able to record a couple clips, and I had more, but I, I think I deleted them to, like, free up space on my phone, but I have two, and they're the most important ones, so it's fantastic. But yeah, so this was the, uh, first part of the prank. I didn't record the second part. I think I deleted that, but, um, yeah, so I was basically just totally winging this shit. I, you know, I've never done this prank before. I had no clue how this was gonna, like, go down. I didn't even know if he was gonna believe me from the get-go. I, I didn't know if he was gonna be, like fill the water fountain Jaden what the what does that even mean you know I didn't know what he was gonna do but I I take him over to the floral area in the back room and I'm like yeah grab one of these uh floral buckets 
which it's a fucking flimsy plastic like plant holder you know that thing like it, it's gonna fucking bend and it might even possibly break while he's trying to fill this thing with water um and yeah so i knew he was gonna spill it just by moving it but i you know i didn't tell him that and uh yeah I mean, we went into the janitor's closet and like in there's a uh, hose so he, he drops the hose in the bucket fills it uh not all the way to the top though okay he wasn't that dumb and, and you could tell he thought it was weird like in the video he's like well what i mean you're recording me you're having me fill a bucket with water and you know it's just like a fucking weird situation like you, you would never think this is something that that happens this is you're gonna be witnessing some of the greatest shit ever all right he's filling up the water fountain yeah. It doesn't come out. It used to come <laughs> Uh, he... This fucking... This noob. Alright, this noob, uh, water, water fountain filler. He just spills the aqua, the H2O, um, and he was still, he wasn't onto it. He spilt the water all over the floor, and the, how would you even know how full the water fountain is? You know, he didn't even think about it. But yeah, so I'm just like, yeah, just keep filling it. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. I gotta go burn down the, the orphanage or some shit. You, you, I mean, you get, you know, you get the gist. So, you know, I figured it had been probably about like 10, 15 minutes since I said that and uh, I figured when I came back he'd be like, dude, this is ridiculous. How do you, how how much water does this thing take? Um and that's and that's when you, you know, you come back and you just see the dude. He, the ingenuity, I will give him that. All right, is fantastic. He took a full cart. He took a cart and six floral buckets. <laughs> and he filled all six of them with water and was wheeling it to the water fountain. I, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was laughing so hard on the inside. I couldn't I couldn't show it because then he'd know. Um, but, you know, as we're, I'm like following him when, you know, I was probably going to try to record it. But uh, then the ATL, which is like the assistant team leader, comes up and she's like, what is this? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Why do you have a cart full of water? And and she had like it almost looked like a look of disappointment. She's just like, why today? Like what? What is going on? Like there's always something new at, on in a retail job. That's one thing you'll 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 learn if you work there. There's something new every day, and this was probably something new for not just me but for everyone there. Um. And uh, you know she's like. She, like the look on her face, I won't forget it. She's just like, why is this new kid doing this? She like she literally couldn't figure out what he, what was going on. Um, but she told him, you know, I turned because I'm laughing at this point. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe she walked in on this. And and she uh, she's like, go dump it out, go put that away, like this. It, but she didn't tell him. She literally didn't tell him that this was a prank. So, um. You know, I'm like, wow, okay, and she's like, I, I, I think she tried telling me something. I don't remember that part of the story. It's really not that important, but uh, yeah, so he goes, dumps out six buckets of water, um, but, you know, Matt, the OTL at the time, he was in on it. He, like, this is, he was one of the original managers that had given me the idea to begin with, so... I, I go and tell him what like just happened and he turns bright red you know he's a bald guy so he just bright red he had no clue that the ATL was gonna find out and uh, it was it was it was pretty funny but then he's he told me he's like you should have him shake the dressings I'm like yes so basically what he meant was initiate step two operation dysfunctional dressing okay and I go get Vance, I'm like, hey, uh, this is an actual chore that you need to do. You know, I, he was like, oh, well, the last chore you just had me do is probably not even real. And I'm like, no, 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 this one's real. I, I was just fucking with you. I even, like, Matt just told me to go do it, you know, and I reassured him enough. He's like, okay. Um, and this one's actually a little bit more believable, but it's still like, why would you even do this? Um, so I told him, I'm like, you need to flip every single bottle of dressing on the shelf like pull them all down shake them because if you if you've ever looked at a bottle of dressing you know that it separates by like 
the main part of the dressing, the oil, and then, like, the shit that's on top of the oil. So, he just... I, I leave him to it, because he, you know, right off the bat, he's, he's going at it. And, uh... Yeah, so, I guess, at some point, Matt walked by, and he's like, go faster, or he said something to him, and it was, like, the most funny shit ever. Like, this was when I was showing him what to do. But, yeah, so, you know, I'm trying to, like, hide my laughter... You know, because he, he's, he's basically telling him, like, make sure you get all of them. I think that's uh, what was going on. And, uh, you know, we, we we literally looked at each other and, like, the smirk. We both had smirks on our face. We were just, like, couldn't you couldn't contain it. It was just, like, so ridiculous. But, you know, some time had passed. I actually had, like, gone and done my fucking, some of my work, okay? You know, I'm, 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 I do actually work at this place. And uh, I, I don't know how, long, how much time had passed, but I come back. <laughs> And Vance is just sitting there on his knees going ham. Not that way. Um, like, you know, there's already flipped dressings on like, one side of him. And then there's, like, dressing that needs to be sh be shaken up on the other. And he is just, I mean, he's going in. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there literally had to be, like, 30-plus bottles of dressing on the floor. I remember him being just completely surrounded on the aisle with dressing. I couldn't even imagine what the customers were thinking looking at this kid doing this, like, they probably would go up and be like, do you work here or something, you know, like, what are you doing? Then the ATL comes over again, and she's like, what are you doing? And I, and, uh, I was telling her, I'm like, I'm out, he's flipping the dressings, and she's like, okay, you need to quit pranking him, alright, this is, this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. So I'm like, yeah, but we we were all laughing, you know, like even she was laughing. She she wasn't like mad or anything. She's just like, but you guys gotta get to you gotta do something. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the end of the the prankage on Vance there. But uh, how could I leave? How could I leave my record at one? I mean, look at Hitler. Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, I craved more. I needed. I needed to, uh, I needed to get more notches on my name tag. So, you know, as, as anyone does, they, they want to try something that worked the first time. They want to do that again, because who doesn't try something that works again? That's how you get, you know, success rates 100%. Um, so the time had finally come, all right? The next person, the next victim was here. Um, but this time I, I I was able to get some help. I wanted some help and who else better than the last victim? So I told Vance the plan. All right. He was now turned to the dark side along with me We got the new apprentice uh, <clears throat> I mean courtesy clerk and then so the redemption for Vance was um, Was was coming and this was it. This was the time right here right now He was gonna he was gonna do it. I knew he was gonna not let me down here so one more notch on the name tag for me, right, hopefully. Um, so we explained that she had a chore to do that night. You know, pretty much the same. We went about this the same way they, that I did with Vance. Um, so we guided her to the back. You know, she's filling up the bucket. But she would never predict what we were doing, okay? Like, she, she was super quiet, super new. She had no clue. So we had her grab a floral bucket. She walked her to the hose. She filled it up. Um, but one thing that Vance did, which was actually kind of smart, was he didn't fill it to the very top, okay? She did. Like, the, the water was, like, borderline about to spill just sitting there flat. So, you know, as soon as she picks it up, it spills. She's As she's walking down the hallway, it it's spilling all behind her. Like, there's a trail of water, almost like a trail of breadcrumbs. You knew it was her, and you knew she was there. Um... And, you know, just spilling from side to side from the bucket all onto the floor in the back room. You know, people are, like, trying to work back here. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, so she goes to the filling process. She fucking spills half the water on the over the, the side of the fountain, just like Vance did. All right, and better than, uh, it, it was better than Vance because she, she was, like, a little bit on edge. She was like, oh, my God, like, do we need to clean this up? But we start dying, you know, laughing. But we, we casually give her a little bit of shit, like, well, how <laughs> how did you spill this, you know? Um, but we were laughing, and we were able to play it off, which was which was fantastic, because she believed it. She thought we were just laughing because she fucked up the chore. But we, we knew. We knew this was going to happen, and uh, we were kind of fucked up for it. But it's okay, 
because uh, as we were going back and she was going to go fill up some more buckets with water, who do you think comes to the back room again in the same spot that Vance was? Yeah, that's right, the ATL again. So she walks in the exact same spot as last time, catches her with a bucket of water, and me and Vance, just st or Vance and I, staring at her, you know, like telling her what to do. And it, the ATL is just, what? Is Like she knew, she knew as soon as she came back here what was happening because she stopped it last time. And uh, yeah, so she's like, go dump that out. And get, and get back to work, okay? They're they're fucking with you. And then you know, I I got the reaction I wanted, but um, you know, I I knew what was gonna happen. She was just gonna, she was just gonna let us go. No, I got fired. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't get fired. Um, but yeah, no, it it was pretty funny. She was laughing too this time because all four of us were just back there laughing. Like we were all laughing to begin with, and she comes back here and she's like, "What is going on?" So, yeah, but that was like, you know, imagine a wholesome moment for the whole family to enjoy, you know, like go tell your kids this story. And then what do you what do you mean you don't have kids? Go grab someone else's kid and tell them this story. This is this needs to make news. I could not stop there. We needed I needed another notch on the name tag, okay? Two measly notches for the prank? I don't think so. I mean, come on, who stops it too? That shitty six-year-old on Fortnite? I could not fit into that category, okay? I will not fit into that category. The prodigal son. All right, finally, we arrive here, the final target. Uh, my other friend, Ryan, had just started working here, and unfortunately, I wasn't gonna have any help this time. It was just me, but you know, two notches on the belt, and it worked both times last time. I think I got this one, you know? So everything was, you know, all good as normal, totally normal day. Then I decided, let's just fuck with him. And, and I did the prank. So, um, you know, I got him to follow me to the back and the same routine as the two people before him. But uh, he was actually smarter than both Va uh, Vance and the, and the other courtesy clerk. He slowly poured the bucket of water into the fountain. Like he literally didn't spill a drop. And I was like, nice job, nice job, you know. I actually gave him props for it because he's the only one that is able to do it, all right? A perfect spill-free pour, all right? The true master of fountain filling. I'd say he's like the Albert Einstein of pouring or the Gordon Ramsay of the um, water filling craft. But anyway, so he, you know, he continued filling it and wasn't interrupted. Like no one, no one knew he was doing it and I just left him to it. But I came back and he's still doing it, you know, he was just perfecting his art. Uh, as anyone does and <laughs> I told him all right that's enough so he followed me to the dressings and you know I'm like all right start flipping all the dressings you know you got to get the oils and stuff all back together and uh, when I came back it was a sight to behold two fucking hands all right this guy was flipping those puppies two hands at a time I mean the most naturally talented true perfect uh worker for useless shit I've ever seen I mean I think it was his destiny really to to flip these fucking dressings in a matter that no other co-worker had ever done or seen in the past it was it was beautiful all right it was truly something to behold um and and throughout all of this he was the only one to actually complete both tasks and not get caught and told to stop I mean it was a, it was beautiful um but you know, as as I had to do, he finished everything, and I told him, I'm like, it's just a prank. And uh, you could like his face, he was like, what? And uh, and then and then it hit him, all right. He's you know the questions were flowing through his head. He's like, why was I filling a water fountain? What has my life come to? How could I let this happen to me? But he accepted his fate nonetheless, and it was over. But he. You know, and I crown him this. He's the true lord of newbies, okay? He, uh, you know, he he's the perfect man for the uh, the business. And uh, he shortly after that was promoted. He's now running Rayleigh's. Uh, he knows what he's doing. And here's a picture of him hugging Yogi the Bear because I figured that was the best way to show how much of a man he is. All right, he's, he is hugging a fucking bear. All right, so, you know, in the end, I learned that you could basically just... Uh, 
take advantage of anyone who is shy and quiet and and practically controllable you know because everyone that starts this job isn't going to be expecting this shit and uh you know you can take very you can take advantage of these people very easy and uh i know it sounds kind of fucked up putting it that way actually but i i don't care this gave me youtube content okay i am perfectly okay with this but you know they they like someone who's that new they're not gonna speak up because they're not gonna they don't know that you're fucking with them and, uh, you know, they're going to do what they're told because they think it's going to be real as long as you sell it well enough. Um, and this is a power that had to be forgotten, okay? It, it's too powerful um, for, for any anybody to, to know how to do, even though I just shared it with all of you. Um, but I vowed never to forsake another person, another soul with this task. But, you know, fuck that. Like, one day I'm going to come out of retirement. And when I do finally come out of retirement... To seek, you know, someone else's work ethic. I think, uh, hopefully, we'll find someone more powerful than Ryan. I have a lot of stories from work, so I'd be more than happy to, like, talk about some more that I have. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed all that. And if you guys do want more, like, story time shit, I, I could definitely do it. The problem that I have with this series is I know eventually I'm probably going to run out of fucking stories because I can only remember so much shit. I would also like to give a shout out and a thanks to Vance. Go check out his channel. Um, he, he streams like anime shit, like anime games and crap. But, you know, if, so if you're into that, go ahead and check that out. Yeah, he, you know, uh, he helped me a little bit with the video, getting some, uh, some of that story correct and everything. So thanks to him. Uh, but this was truly the ultimate prank experience. And I would highly recommend that you try this out if you can. But uh, anyway, see you guys later.